13 miles southwest of Grand Rapids, Michigan, we are in Hudsonville along the CSX Grand Rapids subdivision. Today is grinding day for this section of the railroad with the LaRam Rail Grinder number 403 working the main line while the smaller 610 takes care of the switches and crossings. While track maintenance has been an internal fact of railroading, rail grinders are relatively new, with machines such as these two only being around for the last couple of decades. The process, as we see here in Zealand, begins with a spray of biodegradable foam and water to wet the brush in an attempt to prevent any fires. Then several units, with dozens of grinding stones each, are run over the railhead, reshaping the rail to remove defects and increase the life of the rail. This practice also helps keep trains safe by eliminating most surface cracking and fatigue wear, reducing the probability of rail fracture. Arriving in Holland beside Waverly Yard, the pair pull onto the east leg of the Y to continue the grind, but also meet empty coal train E800. As they approach, we will see them lift the grinding modules off the rails as they do when not working on the railhead. CSX's RN dispatcher out of Calumet City has held the team here to allow E800 to pass through. With a pair of BNSF SD70 ACEs in the lead, the train has just departed the JH Campbell Generating Facility and is heading back to the Powder River Basin for another load. The BNSF power is standard on these trains since it is far easier just to leave the BNSF pumpkins on the train at Chicago then swap power in the middle of the run. Instead, 
BNSF simply bills CSX for the time that their locomotives are used on the foreign road. With 7,000 feet of train to drag through the slow speed turnout at the north end of the Y, it takes about 10 minutes for the coal train to clear up. Meanwhile, the Laram crew catches a short break that they'll soon be back on the grind. After finishing their work on the Y, it was time to continue westward. From the platform of the Holland Amtrak station, it's easy to see how dusty these machines can be despite a hefty air filtration system which catches most of the dust generated by the grinding. South of town, the procession soon arrives at the Sagatuck passing siding, where we put the drone in the air to get a view from above through the open cornfields. grinder approaches a crossing or turnout as we see here, the grindstones are stopped and lifted clear of the track 
passing over the points and then returning to work just beyond the switch frog, continuing at an impressive clip for such an involved machine. Jumping back to the east end of the siding, the much smaller crossing end switch grinder prepares to make their passes through the turnout. To ensure an accurate and damage-free grind of the switches and crossings, this machine has specialized equipment for this specific task. They'll make several passes over this power-controlled turnout to grind both the through and diverging route. Once the work here at Sagatuck is completed, the Loram team will tie the two machines up overnight in the siding and continue west tomorrow. Thanks for watching this edition of the Thornapple River Rail Series. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more, plus leave any questions or comments down below.